It's Valerie's virtual time! Hello everyone, so actually I'm actually doing a fundraising for my school fun run. You can check in the link, you can check in the description below for more info. But we're going to continue this. And last time we did the triangle area, but we actually had to comment this part because it was actually like not working as well as I wanted it to so we are just gonna um what we're just gonna do the circle today um and now if we go I can show you what we have so far with the circle because we typed in this the circle last time and it doesn't work because the HTML is not there yet, so, yeah. Um, so if I go here, and we make a new one called circle, we're going to do let, let button underscore circle, because it's a circle, equals get element by id i believe no document dot get element by id okay one second document dot get element by id which is going to be btn circle because that's what we placed and i'm just checking up here just to see because we can use this as like hints then we're going to do button underscore circle equals oh wait no 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 dot add event listener basically what add event listener does is whenever like it asks the program to listen to whatever you're typing in this case I believe that's how you do it. I'm gonna add a semicolon here so you won't get any errors. Cons constant. Now we only need to do one because it's just the radius. So constant radius equals parse int a uh, document dot get element by id this is gonna be um radius and let's see here height triangle dot value so now we're gonna do dot value So after dot value, it's going to be constant result. Constant result um, radius. No, 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 no. Circle equals. Because we don't need to do both two of them because it's only the radius that we need. Then this is going to be. Uh, one second. Document dot get. Element by ID, oops. Then we're gonna put output circle. How is that not purple? One second. Okay, little oopsie here. It's actually a button dot add event listener we gotta search for one more thing turns out I missed a comma that's why you always gotta search for bugs because one little thing could crash your entire code okay let's continue so what's this doing here okay after constant result after we get that it's gonna be let radi radius status equals false 
There we go. I believe that's how it works. Mm hmm. Now we're going to start off with the, like, the part that doesn't let errors. So, uh, we're going to keep it inside here. It's going to be if. If radius. That. And this part is the and part is nan base oops what am i typing base <laughs> and uh, also um base oh wait no that's supposed to be radius um i'm going to create a huge error by doing that i'm sorry but i just am So I want to fix this before I crash my entire system. <laughs> Base radius is less than or equal to zero. Then this is going to be, nope, wrong one. Uh, this one, uh-huh. And then gonna be document dot get element by ID document dot get element by ID now my ID is gonna be radius error gonna do the inner HTML equals it's gonna ask you put an actual actual number please smiley 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 face else it's gonna be document dot get alien by id radius error dot inner html equals nothing and we're gonna put i believe we're gonna set it to true yeah radius Status to true. Oops. True. Okay. This circle has to be the easiest out of all of these because it doesn't have as much. It's only the radius that needs it. I believe that's how you... Nope, you don't put the thingy there. And now we just do... If radius status... I believe that's how it works. Just basically tell if that's true. Um, the formula is going to be constant area. Um, circle. How about that? Equals. So this one's not going to be the e the easy part. This one's going to actually kind of be hard. So we're going to do double radius because double parentheses, and it's going to be radius. Time, that's a time sign, radi radius, because if you remember the formula, that's going to be radius times radius times 3.14, I believe. And this two fixed part is just to make sure, like, round to the nearest decimal or something like that. So you won't get, like, a humongous number and having to be like, uh, so, yeah. And then now, finally, what we need to do is to print it out, so it's going to be result underscore circle equals result i'm gonna put a space in there i believe it'll work now nah, well uh oops i forgot this part plus area oops ah circle circle hey okay else now we're gonna put a little alert like before alert there we go um where is it okay it's gonna be alert what did you put alert oops what did you put question mark it's gonna put result underscore circle equals nothing 
nothing. Yay. Yep, that's how it works. Okay, now we're just gonna go ahead and test it in our Google Chrome. Okay, let's see if this one works. Let's start off with five, something easy. Okay. Well, that means because we have an error or I forgot to save. Okay, we have an error. Let me go find out what, what happened. I really wonder if it does matter if this is lowercase or not. I'm just gonna see what happens if I do. Nope, okay, that does not solve the problem. Let me go keep searching. I think I found it out. Let's see if we what happens if we add that. Will it work? Nope. Let's see if the error function works though. Okay, so the error part works. Then it has to be something with the, I think I know what happened. Okay, yeah, I just hide, it. that was hiding in plain sight and I totally didn't notice it. So let's go ahead and try it now that we, I think we were able to do it, maybe. No, okay, how come this works? But this doesn't work. I just don't understand. One second. <laughs> okay. Maybe, just maybe, it was in the HTML. Oops. Like, just maybe. Just maybe it could be in the... It is in the HTML. Ha ha. Okay, so to prove you it works, let's do something easy, like 3, 28.26. Okay, so I believe what we're going to work on tomorrow is we're going to work on the tabs so we can switch through all of these instead of having it such cramped on like one page like this. Um, but anyways, I think you all have a great day and look in the description for that fun run. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.